I'll ask you to do something, okay? You do it, and later on I'll show you something very, very nice. 30 seconds. <coughs> Charles and Samantha, what name do you give to your child? Aiden and Julia. What do you ask your church for Aiden? Baptism. Dear parents, you have asked them your child baptized. In doing so, you are accepting the responsibility of training him in the practice of the faith. It will be your duty to bring him up to give God's commandments as Christ told us by loving God and our neighbor. Do you clearly understand what you are undertaking? We do. I now invite James and Carol to come. James and Karen, are you ready to help Charles and Samantha in their duty as Christian parents? I then you, Jill, the Christian community welcomes you with joy. In his name, I pray you for Christ our Savior by the sign of the cross. I now pray on your behalf. Especially. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. People were bringing little children to Jesus for him to touch them. The disciples turned them away. But when Jesus saw them, he was indignant and said to them, Let the children come to me. Do not stop them. For it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. I tell you most solemnly, anyone who does not welcome the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter. Then he put his arms around them, laid his hands on them, and gave them his blessing. The gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Hey, nothing you were here for Mass earlier. Church today? Yes, you come to church today? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Parents, he's a good boy. He was late. So we are here to celebrate your brother and your friend, baptism. So I want you to think about him. to come forward, to come forward for the intercession. So you want to stand up here with the children, and children, you do it like that. Please keep your hands like that. Okay. I will start, and then James and Karen will finish. My brothers and sisters, let us ask our Lord Jesus Christ to look lovingly upon his child, who is to be baptized, on his parents and godparents, and all of us who are here this morning. Jesus, by the Lord Jesus, by the mystery of your death and resurrection, bathe this child in your light, give him the new life of baptism, and welcome him into the Holy Spirit. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. Lord, through baptism and confirmation, make this child a faithful follower and witness to your gospel. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Lord, may this child lead a life worthy of God's kingdom. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Lord, keep these parents and this child always in your love. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, bless us the godparents of this child. Help us to be a good example in all we say and do. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, renew the grace of our baptism to each one of us. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Children, you want to go back to your seat now? 
And now we're going to say something that I want you to repeat and all of us repeat as well. Pray for us. Please repeat that. Pray for us. Pray. Excellent. So next I'm going to raise my hand and we say pray for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us. Saint John the Baptist. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Peter and Paul. Pray for us. Saint Mary of the Cross, Machila. Pray for us. O holy men and women. Pray for us. Excellent. I now invite Charles and Samantha to bring Aiden to the front as we're going to have the prayer and anointing before baptism. Almighty and ever living God, you send your only Son into the world to cast out the power of Satan, the spirit of evil, to rescue us from the kingdom of darkness and bring us into the splendor of your kingdom of light. We pray for this child, Aiden. Set him free from original sin. Make him a temple of your glory and send your Holy Spirit to dwell with him. We ask this through Christ. Our Lord. Amen. Amen. We anoint you with the oil of salvation in the name of Jesus Christ. Our Savior, may Jesus Christ strengthen you with his power and protect you. From all evil, he who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, God uses the sacrament of water to give his divine life to those who believe in him. Let us turn to him and ask him to pour down his gift of life from this bond on agent he has chosen. Our response will be, Blessed be God. Father God of mercy, through these waters of baptism, you fill us with new life as your very own children. From all who are baptized in water and the Holy Spirit, you form one people united with your Son, Jesus Christ. Blessed be God. You set us free and fill our hearts with the Spirit of your love so that we may live in your peace. Blessed be God. You call those who are baptized to announce the good news of Jesus Christ to people everywhere. Blessed be God. Lord God, you have called your child to this cleansing water and new birth, so that by sharing the faith of your church, he may have eternal life. Bless this water in which alien Aiden is about to be baptized. We ask this in the name of Jesus, the Lord. Amen. Amen. I now invite the godparents to come and stand next to your godchild, please. Dear parents and godparents, you have come here to present this child for baptism. By water and the Holy Spirit, he is to receive the gift of new life from God, who is love. On your part, you must make it your constant care to bring him up to keep the practice of the faith. See that the divine life which God gives him is kept from the poison of sin to grow always stronger in his heart. So if your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, renew now the vows of your baptism, reject sin, profess your faith in Christ Jesus. This is the faith of the church. This is the faith in which your son is about to be baptized. So, dear parents and godparents, on behalf of your child, do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? I do. Do you reject the plan of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin? I do. Do you reject Satan, father of sin and prince of darkness? I do. Do you believe in God? The Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, who was crucified, died and was buried, rose in the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. This is our life. 
Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, but it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. We us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And we raise our hands to pray for them. Samantha, God the Father, who is son the Virgin Mary's child, has brought joy to all Christian mothers as they see the hope of the Lord shine on their children. May bless you, Samantha. 
the master of your son Ayurveda. You now thank God forever for the gift of your child. May he be one with me in thanking God forever in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And now I invite Charles to come to the front and once again we raise our hand and pray and ask God to bless Charles. Charles, God is the giver of all life, human and divine. May we bless you, Charles, the father of your son, Aileen. You and Samantha will be the first teacher to your son, Aileen, in the ways of faith. May you be the best teachers, very witness by what you do and what you say. We ask this in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And now we have our concluding prayer. By God's gift, through water and the Holy Spirit, we are reborn to everlasting life. In His goodness, may God continue to pour down His blessings upon all of you, His children. May He make you always, wherever you may be, faithful members of His holy people. May God send peace upon all of us who gather here. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And this is with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our celebration has finished. I invite all of us to put our hands together to congratulate the child. Thank you, Father.